If I want to differentiate tan x, then what I must remember is that tan of x is sine over cosine. So tan is sine x over cos, or cos of x rather. So because you have one function divided by another, this is a quotient of functions. And so I can use the quotient rule in order to differentiate tan. So dy by dx, starting from the bottom, cos x times by the derivative of sine, which if you remember is cosine. Take away the top, so sine x, times by the derivative of the bottom. Now the derivative of cosine was minus sine. All over the bottom squared. So cos of x all squared. Now, in the numerator, we have cos times cos, so cos squared. We have minus sine times minus sine, so plus sine squared x, all over, well, we can write that as cos squared x. Now, sine squared plus cos squared is one of the trig identities, and that's equal to 1. So that's 1 over cos squared. Now, it's at this stage where we're going to go forward a little in our study, and I'm going to introduce to you three new trigonometric functions. Now, the three trigonometric functions that I'm talking about are the reciprocal functions of sine, cosine, and tan. So I'm talking about 1 over sine x, 1 over cos x, and 1 over tan x. Now we're going to be introduced to those later on um, in the course. And so you will see these again and in much, much more detail. 1 over sine is cosec of x. 1 over cos is called sec x. And 1 over tan is known as cot x. Now part of the problem of trying to remember which is which is that if you use the third letter rule, then each of the third letters tells you which one is which. Cosec will be sine, sec will be cos, and cot will be tan. So if 1 over cos is sec x, then 1 over cos squared will be sec squared x. So the derivative of tan x is actually sec squared x, okay? And that one is very useful to remember, rather than have to calculate it each time. So tan differentiates to sec squared.